At the beginning of the movie Ella frequently masked her displeasure at her friend's discussions of pregnancy's adverse effects. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. She was adamant about her position since she could not picture going through the physical changes brought on by pregnancy. Ella loved the life she was experiencing, whilst her friends struggled to imagine their lives without children. Although her husband Aiden wanted to start a family, he supported Ella's decision and their marriage was unaffected. Ella was also a well-known architect. She was happy with her life, but things quickly changed once she went to a doctor Aiden had suggested. Even though it was only a routine visit, Ella felt like the doctor was overly worried about her choice not to become pregnant. She observed that Ella's biological clock was out of whack and that, with the appropriate medication and care, her perspective on childbirth might change. Ella ignored the conversation at first, but once her father said that she was ashamed of her Jewish heritage, she began to second-guess her decision. Ella made a phone call to Dr. Weber to express her interest in participating in a clinical study that attempted to demonstrate that deciding against motherhood was caused by hormone imbalance and could be corrected. With the correct treatment, women who were not interested in having children could be healed. These women were essentially physically injured. Ella left her home and signed up for the seven-day trial, which involved both medication and treatment. At the facility, she ran into Dr. Elizabeth Simmons, the theory's creator, and thus began her quest to repair her broken biological clock. Ella identified that her trauma had roots in her family's past throughout the treatment session. Her father's house's grandfather clock upset her. Her failure was continuously brought home to her by the heirloom's ticking sound. She was accountable for ending the family name after all the agony her forefathers had to endure. She saw it as the eradication of bugs, the mass killing of her ancestors during the battle. Ella frequently had visions of spiders around her after the therapy session. During the session, she also noticed a tall, black-clad figure, but she was unable to interpret what she represented. Ella was afraid of the tall woman's ghostly face and her shadow, which frequently followed her. Later, she discovered that the woman was in fact her grandmother, a survivor of the Holocaust who came to America to begin a new life. After surviving a nightmare, she created a family, and Ella's spirit teased her for destroying everything she had worked so hard to create. Ella struggled to keep from losing control despite her repeated attempts to persuade herself that whatever she was seeing was merely a sliver of her imagination. Her delusions got so bad that she lost track of reality. Dr. Simmons' voice and recurring themes tormented her, and all she wanted to eat were the frozen eggs in the refrigerator. Her reality was progressively changing, but she was merely relieved that her first priority was having a child. Ella complied with Dr. Simmons' directions after acquiring the implant and refrained from having sexual relationship with her husband. During the final lap of her journey, she gave in when Aiden approached her. The implant placed in her, however, unintentionally caused him harm. In order to reach the first aid kit, Ella grabbed hold of his bag. As she was doing so, she spotted the infinite sign on the bag, which resembled the one she had seen at the institution. Ella was not persuaded even though he originally denied any involvement. He said, gently, that he had heard about Dr. Simmons' groundbreaking work and that he thought perhaps she could be able to alter Ella's perception and solve her issue. Ella found all the deception and fabrications repulsive. She was destroyed by the realization that Aiden shared her opinion that she was broken and that he had designed the entire scheme to deceive her into doing something he desired for himself. In order to face Dr. Simmons and remove the implant that had recently been negatively affecting her life, she left the house. Dr. Simmons must remove the implant from Ella's body, she said as she barged inside the facility. When Ella agreed to participate in the trial, she was unaware that the implant would stay in her body indefinitely. Elizabeth emphasized that if the implant were to be removed, the patient would be irreversibly destroyed and would never be able to conceive. Ella cried and acknowledged that she was desperate for a kid even if she wanted to defy Dr. Simmons. Ella was unable to refute the fact that Elizabeth's operation was successful. Ella observed the other hapless patients lost in their deluded world as Elizabeth attempted to control the situation by bringing Ella to her office. 
She understood that her intense desire to become pregnant was also a hallucination, much like the clock, spiders, and the towering woman. Her desire to become pregnant was something that was medically produced in her, it was not something that she, as a human, wanted, it was something that the drug and therapy had changed in her. There was no stopping her once she realized she wasn't broken. She used pliers to remove the implant, then waited as things returned to normal. The evening before Ella learned about Aiden and his scheme, she went to see her father after getting an urgent phone from him around midnight. When she got to his residence, he was on the floor, and she assisted him in standing up. Ella was overcome by the grandfather clock's ticking sound, and she threw it to the floor and broke it into pieces. After the incident at the facility, Ella saw the police vehicles outside and sped off in her vehicle. After seeing what Ella had done to her father, Aiden contacted and said he wanted the police to come and arrest her. This was the message she received from him. Her father was brutally slaughtered by her, she had mistaken him for the clock. To stop the clock from running, she tore his corpse apart. Ella murdered her father because she was insane. She had changed, and now she was motivated by her desire to have children. She might not have been able to accept it when her father eventually showed his support. She consented to the trial in an effort to appease him only to discover that it was for nothing. When the police were about to take Ella away while she was still in handcuffs, the movie ends with her running and jumping into a lake. Thanks for watching.